cars and everything to talk together? Yeah, it's very exciting for Tampa. I think this is really big news, and we'll you know we'll learn more as we go. But it's a it's a partnership between uh, Tampa Hillsborough Expressway Authority and the and the DOT, and uh, the money is going to create. Um, really focusing on not necessarily driverless cars, but to, to begin to put the technology in place that helps cars and systems communicate. In fact, those are the things that calm traffic down, provide data about, about you know, uh, really generally helping traffic and, and cars and systems move, move better is the way I understand it. Yeah, so uh, the way I understand it was Chuck was explaining to me, you know that the, when we do the real-time traffic, Chuck has the ability to watch how traffic is flowing and stuff. Well, this is going to be kind of like that on steroids because it's going to be able to warn drivers ahead of time of what's coming up on the road, which will allow you in real time to know when to go to another one or go into it, go to another lane lane of those kind of things. Now, we were only one of four cities in the country that got That's right. This. Well, New York City, and it's based on certain sites, but New York City, Wyoming, and then Ann Arbor, Michigan. So it's, it's really special in that respect that, that Tampa is going to be in the situation. And what the really cool thing is that the data collected could foster a bit of a, of a, of a cottage industry for the come here and help work with that data. Yeah, and that's the part that we, we hadn't talked about before was if you've got a tech project like this, the companies, rather than being a long way away, they say, hey, you know what, let's open a satellite office or start an office in that area to see how we can get into this. Because we don't have the piece yet that connects the cars, but you know if they've got the roadway piece, you know, it's only a matter of time before the cars get there. Well, and we're hearing a lot about driverless cars, and there's going to be many years until we all can sort of have the sense that, oh, well, we'll just take the foot off the bed or go in the back of the seat and lie down you know, while the car yeah. drives, right? That's the kind of the vision. But, but these, I think, are the building blocks and the steps. And, and for, from the business journal's perspective, when we look at the business lens and are trying to find, hey, how does this affect business development, that's the key point. Is, yeah. is, is can there be a cluster uh, of, of, of sort of intellectual uh, uh, assets and capacity to come to Tampa Bay, root here, be innovators, and help drive, you the, know, drive you, the car, as yeah. it were? Do you know I have a driverless car? And? It sits in my garage every night. <laughs> Waiting it's a for, dumb yeah, car. Waiting for some help. <laughs> waiting for some help. I have a dumb car, Alexis, too. Alexis, great idea. Thank you so Thanks much, folks. So. You want to pick up a copy of the Tampa Bay Business Journal, just go to tampabaybusinessjournal.com. You can read all about these great articles. Alexis, good talking it's to you. It's always a pleasure.